can see something through the hole. That's not the kind of bush I like. I can see something through the hole. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. That's not the kind. I 
I can see something through the hole. That's huge. I can see something through the hole. worked. The entrance to the ruins is now open. The door handle seems to be coupled to the trapdoor. A lizard statue. I can imagine who's going to go nuts over that. No, there's no way I'm touching anything here. That doesn't look like I could just push it open. I'm not touching that. If I do, it'll probably shoot out a gazillion knives or something. It looks pretty ancient and menacing. I could be your game master. You think this is something for you? Oh, let him give it a try. As long as I can fight Lizard Man. But we also need the perfect setting. Did you find something? Yes, I know the perfect place to hold a great larp. Ooh, great! Let's go! Okay, let's go! I can hardly wait! I don't like this place. They're watching me. I can feel it. Start already! Start already! So your spaceship crashed on an alien planet. There you find the remains of an ancient civilization. Good start! Something approaches. It's... A disembodied intelligence. Oh, like in episode 165. You quickly, the creature possesses. A statue of a lizard. All right. The lizard comes to life. 
With a grating sound, it comes closer and closer. I consult the Starfleet Manual for the Rules of Conduct for First Contact with Possessed Lizard Statues! Uh, yeah, that too. But then it winds up to crush you. You? Modulate your tricorder's pulse frequency to Alpha 7. Because that would recalibrate the Lizard Statue's molecular structures! Um... Yeah, that's what I was about to say. The statue has frozen. You quickly... Clear your next move with Starfleet Command. Yes, that's exactly what I'll do! Great story! What do I do now? The lizard statue is standing on a deadly trapdoor. It slowly awakens once more. At the last moment, you pull the lever. Yes! <laughs> the aliens kidnapped him! Uh, hello? Everything okay down there? Did I defeat the disembodied intelligence? Of course! You are the hero of the day! That was great! I even ripped my shirt and started bleeding! But why is my leg so twisted? Oh, are those my bones? Uh, I'll call the ship's doctor. I remember Smoke. He looks pretty out of it. I think I'd better leave him alone. Man, it's dark in here. I should put some light on the subject first. That looks pretty dangerous. Hmm. I think I know who's looking for something just like this. Hello? Is there anybody still there? I gotta admit, this does hurt a little bit. Could I maybe have some Starfleet tablets? Uh, there's something rustling around here. Maybe it's an Orion slave girl. Oh, it's a badger. No, badger, don't lick the blood up. <laughs> I don't want you chewing on my leg either. Ouch! Take that! Pew, pew! Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. I hope it doesn't come back with reinforcements or anything like the Kardashians. Hey, I can be... Who? You don't look the type. You have no idea just how much imagination I really have. Mm -hmm. uh, you just have to have enough for each of us here. Of course. But we also want to play in a location that's just perfect for us. What do you have in mind? Uh, we want to be heroes and tackle deadly traps. The more dangerous, the better. You know anywhere like that? Yes. I know the perfect place to hold a great LARP. What do you say, Kyle? You wanna give it a try? Let's do it. Can't be any more boring than here. Then let's go. Okay, let's get started. I hope it's about a really sexy space princess. <laughs> okay, why not? So, uh, a beautiful princess named... Leela, the most beautiful woman in the universe, was kidnapped from the palace on her home planet of... Sex Mania. Just a few hours ago, and the perpetrators are fiendish aliens who want to do terrible things to her. <sighs> oh, what's she wearing? Uh...
A bikini made of gold. Perfect. Fortunately, two glorious heroes have taken up the trail to save her. <laughs> That's us, Finley. I know, dumbass. Uh, keep going. The two penetrate the space station, where their princess is being held prisoner. They fight their way through to the detention block, but it is full of deadly traps. Awesome. I can almost see the princess in front of me. Yeah, I'm totally into it too. We have to save her. The princess is waiting for her two heroes, yet fate has strewn their path with many a deadly trap. Or the aliens. Hey, this has to really stimulate our imaginations. Yeah, I really want to picture the palace in my mind. The best thing would be to turn off the lights so that we can really live out our roles in the dark. Great idea. Okay, I can do that. I'll turn out the lights now, and your adventure begins. Tell us exactly what we need to do to meet the deadly challenges ahead. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. They won't be lethal, I hope. So, you're approached by a vicious tentacled monster. You? Leap forward. Hold on, princess. We're on our way. And you can lose that gold bikini. Let's go. Pew, 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 pew. Bam, bam. You escape the tentacled monster, but palace guards start to appear. The guards are shooting at you. You... Duck as low as you can. <clears throat> the shots are causing the walls to collapse. You... Leap forward! Oh! No! Oh, that hurts! Come on, let's get out of here. What kind of instructions were those? That's not how it works. You have to guide us through the traps. Without getting cut to pieces in the process. Yeah, otherwise it's no fun. Okay, I'll try. I'll turn out the light. Tell us. Okay, I hope. Stop you. Leap. Hold on, we're on our and let's go. Pew, pew, bam. You escape the guard. You duck at whoosh. <clears throat> the shot. You. Roll forward. Uh, watch out over there. We're coming, princess! But then, the intergalactical death beams appear out of the walls. You... You run straight ahead as fast as you can. We're almost there. Nothing can stop us. Hurry! It worked! We beat all the traps. That was a great adventure, Larry. So, what's next? Well, you guys did your part to save the princess. She is at your feet, eternally grateful. Soon, she will remove her gold bikini and summon you to her chambers. <laughs> and, uh, what do we do till then? You'll just have to wait here.
It's pretty dirty in here. Huh. There seem to be some symbols, but they're barely visible under the dirt. As Game Master, I... Really? Can I clean up in there, too? Really? The best would be if it takes place in a filthy dump where I have to make a heroic effort to clean up. Is there anywhere like that around here? Yeah, I know exactly where I can offer you a great larp. My mop is hungry. Let's roll! As far as I understand it, you have to tell an exciting story now, and I have to use my skills to respond to it. Exactly. Right? Hmm. You assume the role of... Sanitation Captain Roger. Oh. Aliens have attacked a spaceship in which you are part of the crew. It's transporting a unique star generator. You are now the last surviving crew member. I like this. You barely managed to escape from the spaceship with an escape capsule and land on a strange planet. And I clean it! No! There you stumble across... a floating head. And then? You fight a terrible creature on the planet and then continue your journey. Oh, that sounds pretty improvised to me. In a nearby city, you buy a small spaceship. That needs cleaning! You manage to fly back to the spaceship, carrying the star generator and infiltrate it. Using every iota of your intelligence, you trick the aliens and make your way to the star generator in order to... Clean it. Yeah, just my thing. Where is this star generator thing I have to clean? Right here on the floor. Then I'll get right to it. Sanitation Captain Roger cleans to save the world as we know it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs>